Hello everyone, my name is Bim, and welcome back to Freedom Planet 2. We're gonna see what Murga wants. It can't be good. Oh, I'm swimming. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love the ocean, bro. Oh, the ocean is so pretty. Oh. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, look at all the fish. Oh, and the, the currents. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, so, oh, I think I brought this up in other uh, episodes of this. But I'm a water dragon, right? Why am I not able to breathe underwater if I'm a water dragon? Now, like, with Carol and stuff, and the other characters, that makes sense. And in the other game, it still made sense that it couldn't breathe underwater because, well, that ha that part hadn't have been established within the lore yet. But now that it's been fully established that I am a water dragon, that Lilac is a water dragon, shouldn't I be able to breathe under water? You know, maybe as Burga does? Does she breathe underwater? I'm assuming that she does, because we fought her underwater. Where am I? Whoa! That's so cool! Oh, so cool! Oh, this level rocks! Oh, that's so cool! This level rocks the place! Oh, let's see. Oh, I just noticed she's like holding her breath. That's that's kind of funny. Man, this level rocks. It's not overstaying its welcome and it's not super intimidating. It's just really pretty. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, this level just rocks the place. Oh, that's so cool. This is my favorite level. This is it. This is the level. Oh, my word. Everyone likes to hate on water levels. I say give me more of them. I would take a whole game of water levels any day. I don't know what kind of take that is. Maybe it's a bad one, but uh, hey, you know what? Can you uh, can you shove off and die? Thank you. <laughs> I like the little the little kicking against that. It's kind of funny. Oh, this level's so good. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, look at the mini volcanoes up here. Water all. Oh, and it's, it's an expanding air bubble. It's so cool. I'll go the lower route. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so cool, guys. Oh, it's so cool. All right, how Markiplier is with space, if you guys uh, are familiar with, or at least some long time familiarity with Mark. Big fan of space. His uh, fascination with space can be said about my fascination with the ocean. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. I want to explore every living inch of that place so bad. Like, it's not even funny. Oh, I love the ocean so much. Oh, it's so cool. It's just so cool and pretty. Oh, hey, a shield. I can use that. That's okay. We'll just go under it. Whee! 
Oh, it's so cool. I love every bit of this so much. Okay, I would like, I would like, I would like... Cyclone! Yeet! Okay, there we go. Nyeom! Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, no, this is the coolest. I, I, I <laughs> that's all this episode is gonna be. It's just, oh, it's so cool. Oh, the way the sprites backdrop into the background. Oh, it's so cool, guys. You don't understand. I love it so much. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, it's so pretty. Ever. Like even they even made the enemies like so nicely themed around the ocean. Oh 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 oh! Yeah. Ow 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 ow! Oh hey! Ow. Oh, you just explode that. Oh, this is so cool. I cannot get enough of this tube mechanic. I love it so much. Can I please? No, frick you, frick you, frick you, frick you, frick you, frick you. Frick you, frick you, frick you, frick you. There's so many of you. Oh my freaking word. Why is there so many of you? Nope, I want to fight this thing. I want them to die. Never mind, I need an air bubble now. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you! What was that? You know what? Frick you. No, get back here. Get the frick back here! I will use all of my lives destroying you if it takes everything I got. Freak! You! Yeah, come here, come here, come here. Yeah! Frick you! Get out of my house! Gosh, you were the worst. Anyway. Hey. Alright. So you've come. And alone, even. I hope to earn that mark of respect. Why call me out here, Murga? We had many names once. Then the Earth Dragons came and took those names away from us. We were their brothers and sisters of the sea, and given just one name. Water Dragon. We were to be redeemed and remade in order to accomplish a... necessary duty. I suppose it was in our favor that we were the most biologically compatible species on this planet. Out oh. of our union was conceived a child, Bakunawa. And once she was born, well, they'd taken our names already. What else could they have taken from us? I didn't know. I'm sorry. Hatchling, Sash Lilac, come with me. What? There is nothing left for us here. We can go and never return. Leave the Earth Dragons to their machinations and fly to a new world. And what happens to this world? Does it matter? I see. In that case... We're fighting. What's this meant to be? A clever ruse. <laughs> no! Not gonna... I'm impressed. That should have rendered you unconscious immediately. Not to worry. You will have plenty of time to forgive me once I awaken Bakunawa. Sneak attack! <laughs> Hold on, Lila! This potion will fix 
you right up. Guys, you came. All right, giant fish lady, back off! Unless you want a face full of punchy. Indeed. Your schemes and here, Murga. I can't help but feel that this is kind of hopeless. Not rise this day. <laughs> What was that? A redirection of the island's volcanic pressure to key fault lines. You may have disabled a few of our beacons, but not all. Impossible! You needed Pengu! It was a vital component! I'm no fool. It was installed well before your arrival. Okay. No, we're too late. Indeed, and that is why it is you who shall end here. Ah! Why'd you stop at the barrier of the bubble? Go for her if you're gonna do that. Commit. Oh, Bakunawa is a ship. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Okay! Alright! 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 Oh! Oh! Go 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 go! Go 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 go! Oh! Go go go! Whoa! Oh! Oh! This went from the best level to the most terrifying thing ever! Ah! This is not good! Uh, you know what? We're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. Oh, oh, what the world? What the world? What the world? Stay classy. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh! Curious guy fortress. Now with extra cannon. Hold on. Okay. All right. So Bakunawa. According to the backstory, was also oh we're just we're getting into this oh we're just shooting things now oh yeah boom bada bow boom bing bang pow boom bing bing boom bang bing bing boom bang bing bing boom pow boom bing bing boom pow boom ba boom bing bing boom bang boom bang oh jeez all right well you know what I'm not being very smart about this and I can't help but feel that I'm going to die because of it. How do I how do I fire backwards? I would like to fire backwards. You won't win that easy. Oh my word I died. That that's why. Uh so One more time. Oh my gosh. Hear me, Magister. Oh dear. The weapon that you Earth Dragons created that brought death to so many of my people will now be my salvation. Kunawa will rise to the sky and devour your moon, giving her the energy she needs to leave this solar system. And we will sail the stars while this world rots. This planet is yours! Long may you reign vainglorious over a dead world! Oh, come on! What was that backdrop there? Oh, gosh. Okay, so we're just gonna keep shooting. We're just gonna keep shooting. That's that's all. All right, so uh, I'm assuming that the water dragons had a daughter. They named her Bakunawa. 
And uh, when the earth dragons were doing a thing, uh, i.e. killing all the water dragons. Hear me, Magister. The weapon that you earth dragons created, that brought death to so many of my people, will now be my salvation. The Hunawa will rise to the sky and devour you, giving her the energy she needs to leave this solar system. And we will sail the stars while this world rots. This planet is yours! Long may you reign vainglorious over a dead world! Gosh, I hate you. Oh dear, oh dear. This just got a lot more bullet. Alright, alright, we're good. Oh, we're boss time. Oh my. Oh, hi. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I can destroy different armor pieces. I want to destroy the face now. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> okay. Oh, are we at Bakunawa now? Uh, to finish my thought, uh, the Earth Dragons made a weapon and named it after a dead child, and uh, wow. That's kind of not cool. And by kind of not cool, I mean, bro. <laughs> Magister, what the frick? There's no way we'd catch up with her now. She's flying too high and too fast! This can't be happening. I won't let it! Lilac! What are you doing? Uh, what's going on here, Lilac? No, okay, not bad! First B I've gotten to this game. Not bad. Oh, that's so big. Oh my gosh. So what exactly... No. What exactly happens? Does she... Oh, she's gonna blow up the moon! She's... She's gonna... Oh, no. oh. Devoured. What give it a second. Y yeah, yeah, no, give it a second. She's clearly too far away for the mining laser to be effective. <gasps> oh. And can be at once. The cooperative General Serpentine is on your side, and he has a plan. Let him go. We have an agreement. And you. That's really talk. smart. <laughs> it's simple. I have a small ship capable of chasing down the stolen weapon and evading any detection system she may have on board, which is more than I can say for your flying whale here. Hey! Don't you listen to him, Mayor Zao's luxurious sky fortress? He's just a mean, jealous reptile. You will turn this vehicle over to us immediately, Snake. We will use it to take the fight to Murga. Excuse me! First of all, it's my ship, so only I can pilot it. And second of all, no passengers! For the velocity I need to catch up to Bakunawa, I need the ship to be as light as possible. So we are to put the fate of the world in your hands. I think not. Maybe you could compensate for the additional weight somehow. <sighs> I suppose. But the calculations involved would be... Bah! Why even talk about it? I might have been able to do it with syntax. But without the drone, I'm just wasting my breath. So that's it then. Murga really has won. I mean, unless she gets there in time. Maybe she doesn't realize the mining razor is enough. I'm going to talk to Serpentine. Mila? Don't worry. I can make him change his mind. There's so many weird twists in this game. Never 
thought I'd see this place again. It's in pretty good shape. Good work, General. It's good to be home. Yeah, all things considered, this is the tidiest invasion ever. Wish all of our invaders were this neat. Good news, everyone! Serpentine's agreed to take us with him! Yes! Out of the goodness of my reptilian heart, I've decided... All five of us, five okay. Of us will ...stop the menace that is Murga. Thanks, Serpentine. And great work, Mila. How did you manage to convince him? Oh, I just made a promise. No biggie. I hope you're all exactly as heavy as you look. Otherwise, this will be a short trip. Rude assessment of our collective weight aside, I assume this interjection means we are ready to leave? Weren't you listening to me before? I still need syntax for the vector calculations. Then our course is clear. Track down Spade, beat him to within an inch of his life, and take syntax back from his broken fingers. Sounds like a plan. We'll hold the fort down here. Fair enough. Where you go, though. Magister wants to see you girls. Something urgent. Oh, I don't want to talk to the Magister, that traitorous son of a dragon. Oh, uh, did I pass him? Nope, I did not. Magister, what's up? Mm. Magister, you summoned us, O oh, Exalted One? Thank you for coming. I wish Don't to share the results of my research regarding Murga and the Water Dragon people. Don't batter this scumbag! At first, what I found merely reaffirmed everything we already knew. That the Water Dragons turned violent. That Murga was their greatest warrior. That many Shangtusians died defending themselves from the Perusian Scourge. Then I realized that the books I had read were all written by Earth Dragons and their descendants. Mm -hmm. I scoured the library for any book that could possibly recount history from a Water Dragon's perspective. I found it within a handwritten book of flowers and horticulture. There were various annotations by the author describing what was then to her current events. If what she wrote is true, then... I'm so sorry, Lilac. Murga is right to be angry. Magister. I was hoping that, perhaps by speaking to her, I could persuade her from this course. Her grudge is against my people. The rest of the world need not suffer for our arrogance and conspiracy. I still don't trust you, dude. I suppose you let it all hide back know. there. I mean, you knew yeah. for good, like, not not the extent that. of the history. Are you mad? She commands an aerial fortress capable of intergalactic flight and eating moons. The time to appeal to her better nature has long since passed. Maybe I just don't want to be the last water dragon anymore, but I still want to try. The last centurion of a long gone race? Isn't that someone worth talking to? Someone of your own blood. Yeah, I get that. Someone who may be afraid of being nothing more than a weapon. Someone with the courage and discipline to do what is needed to be done. Oh, shut up, Nira. Very well. I suppose we can attempt to do the right thing. Should the situation arise. Have I come at a bad time? <gasps> We acknowledge and welcome the King of Shui Gong in the- Let's go, Dale! Your Majesty! Hi! King Dale, to what do we owe this unexpected pleasure? Oh, this is just a casual state visit. I realized that we never properly thanked you for all your assistance in Shui Gong. So I brought along this beautiful gift. And this wretched scoundrel of a brother. Oh, got him! He busted me, I'm good. <laughs> My men have a syntax drone under guard outside. From what I've gathered, you will Let's take go, dude! King Dale is awesome! Magnificent. You four, finish your business here. Once I've installed syntax on my ship, I'll be leaving immediately. So don't be late. Adversity makes for strange bedfellows, it seems. Indeed. Bro, King Dale is legit. I, I love this guy. When you encounter Murga, allow me to speak with her. Your communicator can act as a relay between us. I wish to... make amends. All right. 
Okay, wow, that was a lot. Bro, King Dale coming in clutch. I thought I was gonna have to do a whole, like a whole super long level and then fight uh, Spade. I don't like fighting Spade. Even in the first game, fighting Spade was rough. Dale just did all that for me. Bro, King Dale's legit. I love this guy. But uh, we're gonna finish that uh, here for now. And we'll take care of that next time. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like what you saw here today, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. So long.